Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1518 water bottles. This is an easy level problem on Leak code and when I solve it in JavaScript. This function takes in the number of bottles and this exchange rate we have. So this first one is the number of full water bottles we have. And this one is how many of empty bottles we can change for one full one. And then it wants to return the maximum number of water bottles you can drink. So for example, here we have nine number of bottles and an exchange rate of three. So we return 13 because you drink nine of them and then you have three empty ones and you can change each this nine to three more full ones and then three of these you drink and then you exchange it for one, then this one you drink. And you add those all up and you get 13. And the tricky part of this problem is when there's a remainder. So here we start at 15 and you exchange a four. So you get 15 drink. And then once these 15 only gets transferred to three. And then after that, you get one. So you get 19. But we can look at here that this is the remainder. It, the remainder gets moved on to the next one as available wants to drink. So once this is drank, there's six of them, and then one of them you can drink from there. So how we're gonna solve this is that first we need to create a variable to hold the amount drink. Create variable for max drink. So I'm gonna call it. And then next we create the remainder variable. And now we will have to while loop is more when um, num bottles is greater than or equal to num exchange. So we're going to keep dividing it as we're going to see exchange. Okay, and so inside of this while loop, we got to create. Uh, figure out the remainder. So remainder is equal to num bottles mod num exchange. And then you divide it, um, you divide num bottles by num exchange, divide num bottles by num exchange add the new add the num bottles to max drink and then you add remainder to num bottles and at the end of this we just return max drink great so first we do let max drink and we know that it starts off with the number of bottles as you can see 15 15 here equals bottles so we don't have to take that account in the first calculation then let remainder starts off at zero and now we do the while loop while num bottles is greater than or equal to num exchange, we have to do uh, these steps. So remainder equals num bottles mod num exchange, then num bottles equals num bottles divided by num exchange. But we'll also need a math top floor because we're taking the remainder separately. Great. And then we add it to the max shrink. And now we add num bottles by the remainder. 
And once we finish that, we just return x shrink. Great. We got it. So the time complexity, we know that we're doing a, a while loop and then num bottles. So it's going to be O of n. Even though we're dividing it, the it rounds up to the O of n. It rounds, we get rid of the fraction in front of it. And then the space complexity, we're just creating constant variables. So it's going to be O of 1. And that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.